Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Nick Stables here, and today I'm going to be doing a how to make a halter DIY video. So let's get started. So I'm firstly going to start off with the things that you will need to make the halter. 20 millimeter jump rings, scissors, 20 or 21 gauge wire, wire cutters, pliers, ribbon of your choice, white felt, a Schleich model horse, and of course a hot glue gun and hot glue sticks. All right guys, so now you're going to get one of your 20 millimeter jump rings and your ribbon, I'm using blue, and you're just going to unwind it. Um, I normally cut it about probably this long. And then you're going to thread your ribbon through your jump ring. Alright guys, so once you're done with that, it should look like this. And I still have all my ribbon attached. I just have this little jump ring. So then what you're going to do is you're probably going to cut it about here on your little piece of ribbon and cut it off. And then you're going to thread another 20 millimeter jump ring through the other side. All right, so now that you're all done with this, you're going to take more of your ribbon that you have and you're going to thread it through either one of the sides, it doesn't matter. And you're going to make sure that the end that's going to have glue in it is on the inside so that all of the bad ends um, don't show. Okay guys, so after you've done that step, um, I cut it off camera because I didn't, I thought my camera was filming, but um, your ribbon should be on the next part about this long, and then take a, another jump ring and thread it through that so it's just all nice and loose, and then you're going to take this end and you're going to do what you've been doing around this jump ring. Alright guys, so this is what your little nose band should look like for your halter. And I didn't mention this, but this is going to be a fleece halter. So you're going to want to grab your felt and I'll show you the dimensions that you want to cut it in order to make a fleece halter. So I just cut a little strip of white felt. So this will be big, um, but I like to cut more than I might need because we can obviously just trim it. So you're going to want to measure your felt because this is a good width. I did recommend this width. This is good for um, halters like this. So then you're just going to measure it and trim what it needs to be. So on the top of the nose band, it looks like fleece. All right guys, so you actually want to continuously put your um, halter on your horse. So this is what it looks like now on uh, Everest. So I think it looks super good. Um, it really matches her. But now we're going to start with the cheek pieces. All right, so on your halter, you're just going to want to cut a piece like this. And I've already um, glued it on there. But you're going to want to cut it about, uh, you want to cut it shorter, shorter than the other pieces so it doesn't look all weird. So about here on your halter. And I'm just going to cut that off and then repeat that on the other side and put a jump ring on the end of your cheek piece. Alright guys, so this is how it's looking now with the completed cheek pieces. Now we're going to make the throat strap. So what I normally do is I measure from about here so that there's room to wrap it around. Sorry, this is difficult to do. Um, and then I normally cut it about this long for a cheek piece. Um, you can do it however longer. I, I am doing a halter that's made for kind of medium sized horses, so the same method will work for bigger horses, but the throat strap will have to be a different size. But yeah, this is how it's looking right now. Now we're just going to connect the throat strap. Alright guys, so here is what the throat strap should look like. 
Now it looks a bit funny because we don't have the um, like buckles done on the halter so it looks really strange. But as you can tell, um, I might have done it a bit too loose. Um, so this does happen. This has happened multiple times to me. But I'm just going to fix this so we can move on to the next step. So guys, I finally got it. Sorry, this looks really bad because it's blurry. But, um, so I just fixed my throat strap. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a buckle made out of our wire. So you're going to want to gra grab your pliers and the ones that I actually showed um, broke. So I'm going to be using these little mini pliers. So what you're going to want to do is pinch it um, like this and then you're going to want to wrap it around and then squeeze it tight like this so it's wrapped all the way around my pliers and then it's going to look like this and then you're going to just clamp it down. Now this buckle is actually one of the easier ones but um, I had um, but uh, the other ones I use are actually a bit more complicated so I'll do that in a different DIY video but then you're going to take your little wire cutters and you're just going to cut it off like that and now you have a little buckle so yeah so then you're going to take more of your ribbon and to attach it you're just going to thread it through sorry this is hard to do on camera and then you're going to thread it through your little um, buckle thing. So sometimes you have to trim it to make it a slant. I didn't do that, but I should have because I made this buckle a tiny bit small, but that's okay. So then you're just going to thread it through and then you're going to take it through the other side like how you would if you're adjusting like any buckle. So I'm gonna have to do this off camera, but you just take it through the other side of your buckle and then move on from there. So your buckle will now look like this and it looks a weird shape because of the way I'm holding my uh, ribbon. But then you're just going to want to cut it about here on your ribbon and just snip that off and then attach it to the right side of your halter and then take the excess ribbon and put that on the other side. All right guys, so this is what it should look like with your two end pieces and your buckle. So now I'm going to show you how to thread it through. So I just, well, you take it through the end piece, the closest piece on the end, you thread that through and then you kind of take a little bit back because I put too much and then you go through the other side like this sorry this is hard because my thing is fraying we're gonna seal it off once we've done that but um, you're just going to take it through the other side of that and then it will be buckled alright guys sorry I didn't do that on camera normally it works out a lot better but um so this is what it should look like buckled and so now what you're going to do is sorry why was I holding my scissors you're going to take your horse put it in like that and then take it over and obviously you can tighten this so you're just gonna pull like this and then your halter is tightened and you can loosen and tighten however you want it to depending on what horse it's fitting. Now this horse is a bit different because um, it's got some crazy mane so it makes it harder to fit. But yeah, so this is what Everest looks like with it. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to cut off your excess piece and I usually cut it about here on lots of mine so it's nice and short um, so then you're going to take some of your hot glue 
and I'm doing this on my horse, which is dangerous. So, and then from to stop it from fraying, you're just going to put some glue on and wrap it around the end so then it doesn't fray. And it's hot, but I just pinch it down and then obviously you cut off the excess glue and then you're done. All right, so now that we're done with the base of the halter, we still have to do the under strap. Don't know what it's called, but yeah. So we're actually going to take a different size of jump ring. I did not mention this before, but you're going to take, I think they're, I forget how small they are, but I think they're, uh, like 23 millimeter they're about this big um, so there is a size difference so you do want one smaller and then you're going to take more of your ribbon just like a short little piece about here I'm cutting it now about this long to start and you're going to want to thread it through so there is an opening on the jump ring don't let me see if I can zoom in but right there if you guys can see that's an opening don't glue it there whatever you do don't glue it there um, you want to glue it on the other side sorry my hands are in the way but this jump ring is really tiny um, so you're just gonna want to do what you've been doing and then glue it down so then after you've done that, you're going to want to take your little pliers again. Now you can use normal pliers, but again, <laughs> mine broke. So then you're going to want to take your little jump ring and open it like that. So it's nice and open. Don't know if you guys can see. But this thing where you put the um, lead rope, you're going to put that little jump ring in, take your pliers, and squeeze. And you're going to want to make sure that it's completely closed. Now this might take some adjusting, but um, you eventually get it completely closed again. You just want to make sure that none of the ribbon or the jump ring gets caught in it. Otherwise, it can lead to fraying, which is not good for your halter. So there is this. Now I'll show you how to connect it. So I'm just going to explain it because it's really difficult to show on camera and if I do it then my hands are just going to get in the way. But basically you're just going to want to take it back to the middle of it or the middle of your little chin strap and fold it over. Make sure that it's not glued onto the actual chin um, chin strap otherwise there's no way for it to move you want to make sure it has room to move so just out and about like that um, and then you're gonna want to glue that little tab down and then you're done all right guys so that is how you make a Schleich horse fleece halter I hope this was helpful for you guys and this method also works on briar horses so remember to make them with your briars they also look great and remember to like and subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video.